What's up you guys? It's Joelle, and um, for those of you guys who've been following me for a while, you know that this is um, the realest it gets with me. If I'm on my webcam, that's the rawest, just most unedited, undone up version. Clearly I just got out of the shower, I'm in my pajamas, um, and I'm doing this video really spontaneously because uh, I actually just got back from a Dartmouth show that happens very regularly, of, I think every year and then during the summers, it's called Voices. Um, and that is when basically students of Dartmouth are allowed to submit and perform monologues and just performances, basically all centered around gender, sexuality, sex, just their experiences with that. And every time I attend the show, I'm always really amazed and impressed um, and also really angry and disgusted because a lot of the content of these shows is ends up be, being people talking about their experiences with things like sexual assault and um, their healing with that and whatnot. So I'll put a small trigger warning that I am going to be talking about issues of sexual assault and dating violence and whatnot, but not in a graphic way at all. Yeah, so for those of you guys who have been following me for a while, you know that I'm a Dartmouth student. Uh, you also know that I'm not going to be here this upcoming fall, and I know that a lot of my viewers are incoming Dartmouth 21s, so congrats and welcome to you, but that's also largely why I want to make this video, not just for Dartmouth students, but just for any incoming freshman anywhere coming into college, particularly boys. Um, because you guys know, I make a lot of videos focusing on college and high school and my experiences with that advice for how to thrive, just what I've done, how I've been able to make Dartmouth and college my home and just really take advantage of enjoying it. But I never talk about the agency and responsibility that you are going to be having as a college student. Um, so to all of you incoming freshmen, you are on your way to start a new chapter of your life and you're joining a new place, a new community, and you are some of the few extremely privileged to receive a higher education and enter into this world of power, essentially. Uh, getting your college degree is an amazing thing. It opens a lot of doors. Um, but as Spider-Man as Spider always taught us, with great power comes great responsibility. And that is something that I just like to uh, implore with you guys that I hope that for any of you guys coming in here, sorry my phone's going off, and I also planned this talk not at all, so this is just for the moment, but I wanted to film it before the sentiments died. Um, I just really hope that for all of you coming in, you really consider what legacy you're trying to leave on the college campus that you're at, in any community that you join coming into college, uh, because I think a lot of freshmen come in trying to make their own place here, trying to find out like who am I, what am I doing, um, like what does it mean for me to be me? And a lot of that comes in who they're friends with, the activities they engage in, what they study, all of that, which I think is really important. But in that, I think it's really easy to lose the sense of what am I building for the people around me? And what am I telling those implicitly through my actions, my decisions, my decisions, the way I talk? So particularly for any boys that are coming to college, not just boys, but focus at boys, Realize that you are coming into a place built upon the understanding that you need to reaffirm your masculinity in a lot of ways that come out in college that have that you have not encountered before. Whether it's in drinking, whether it's in how many girls you can hook up with, whether it's in your penis size. Like that is a culture that exists in college and it's kind of disgusting because at the same time what it's telling people and what you're telling people by assimilating into that is that violence, asserting yourself, physical domination is what it means to be masculine and I just want to remind you that that is not true and that one of the greatest ways that you can affirm your identity as a strong individual male is by showing everyone your e your equal mutual respect other boys other girls other non-identifying people that you treat them all the same and that there is no need for you to assert your dominance whether it's in a like physical verbal emotional sexual way there is no need for that and that does not prove anything to the people around you it really only demonstrates your character and your values and what it is that you're insecure about so i just really want to emphasize that I have a lot of faith 
in the younger generations, um, but it's quite clear to me through hearing these talks and these experiences of a lot of girls on Dartmouth campus and on other campuses that the systems in place, whether it's school, whether it's government and like the police, they are not supporting girls who are victims of sexual assault or of any physical violence in the way that they should be. They're failing to meet the needs of those that they're supposed to serve. And though in an ideal world, those systems would not even be necessary, we wouldn't need to have security networks for girls who were just attacked or sexually assaulted because that wouldn't happen in the first place. And who is the, who are the perpetrators of that? Oftentimes, college-aged boys. I'm not trying to criticize boys. I'm not saying all men are terrible. Oh my gosh. But no one is ever, ever, ever asking to be assaulted. No one is ever asking to be demeaned or disrespected. So I just really want to encourage a sense of agency as you guys are coming in to Dartmouth or to any other college or whatever next stage of life you're going into that by being given this education you're going to have the world at your fingertips and I just really hope that you choose to use that to leave a legacy that will raise up the next generation of boys and girls collaborating, understanding their equals, working together, and respecting each other and honestly that one day if slash when you have kids and send them to college that you will be able to be secure knowing that they're not going to be fed narratives of needing to assert physical dominance or being told that they are recipients of physical violence and that that's normal. And I hope that you're able to one day be proud that you were proactive in stepping in when you saw someone who might have needed help, when you saw something that even just looked sketchy or just was happy to walk a friend home when maybe she's really drunk or stepping in up against a friend who might be doing something that you know isn't okay with the recipient but the recipient can't say no. So there's a lot of little ways that you can exercise a sense of agency and I just really hope that as an incoming freshman you would be really proactive about taking that step because I think it would be really amazing to see a class of freshmen you know, at any college but for me personally at Dartmouth that really had a strong sense of justice and what it would look like for people to really care for each other. So that is all, but I love you all and I really appreciate all of the support that you guys have shown me, whether it's the Dartmouth community or just other college students or anyone who watches my videos. But I also really hope that when you see this, I hope you will share it with your friends who might be starting the next chapter of their lives in college because it is something that I care really, really deeply about. And like I said, if the administration and the systems in place are not going to support victims of violence like this and of disrespect, then who better but your peers and the people around you. But yeah, sorry if this was a little long, a little rambly. Like I said, I didn't plan this at all, but I love you guys so much and I wish you the best of luck with your incoming freshman year and the chapters after. Peace.